Hey everybody and uh, happy Wednesday. This is live stream number eight. Uh, today is May 31st. Tomorrow is June, friends. Can you believe it? Summer is here. All right. Thank you so much for uh, joining me for today's live stream. Today, we're gonna I'm going to give you uh, the highlights of what I think are the three. Well, actually, I got four highlights of the Fusion 360 May release that was released yesterday. So if you haven't been into Fusion since yesterday morning, when you open up Fusion, you will get a, uh, a new release. And there was a bunch of different things in uh, in this release. Um, but I want to give you kind of like my highlights. So if you didn't have a chance to go out on YouTube and uh, and watch the highlights, then uh, then I will give you the ones that I think is the most important. Um, so while we're waiting for a few people coming in here, uh, let me just throw in my email address like I normally do. If there's anything you want me to show uh, in this live stream, uh, shoot me an email that is now at the top of the live chat. Um, if you are watching the recording of this, which is perfectly fine, then you will find it down in the description area. Just send me an email trying to keep these live streams. Well, I'm trying to make this one a shorter one so I don't become like 35 minutes long. Maybe I can do it in like 15, 20 minutes. That would be cool because I know you got you got things to do. We can see we already got about six people joining here. That's awesome. 17. Whoa, it runs quick. Um, by the way, I got the, the window open here. So if things start papers flying around, it's getting a little windy. We don't care. Uh, so tomorrow I am going to answer Bill's question in regards to... Uh, a, if you have a big assembly and you want to break it down into different components for CAM. So, Bill, uh, you, that is coming tomorrow. I will try to send you an email tonight, though, uh, so you can, can get going on this. You don't have to wait for this. Today is the Watch New. Now, I'm only going to show you the stuff in the CAD portion, the four things that I think was worth, at least you need to know about. Uh, if you want to do the CAM... Uh, then go and watch, go to, to this YouTube channel uh, because I, I uploaded the recording just for Cam yesterday, but it's actually a little bit longer. There's a couple of more things that was in the official Fusion uh, release. So again, I'm going to jump into the four things that I think you need to know about the, the May release of Fusion 360. If you have anything you want in uh, me to to do on these live streams, throw it, uh, send me an email. Uh, the email address is in the top of the live chat. And if you're watching the recording, it's in the description area. All right, let's jump into a fusion. I'll get back to uh, to the, the questions and comments in the live stream just in a second. All right, so we are now inside of a fusion here. And um, if you look here, you will see this file well, now I'm already getting up topic. <laughs> this file is an inventor file that I brought in. Um, and what is interesting about this is you see how there is actually a feature tree in here. Um, because inventor is part of Autodesk, we can actually read in the different features. Now, anything that gets imported into Fusion comes in as um, what we call direct editing mode. But you can actually go in here um, if I right click here, I can actually go in and edit uh, fill it. So I could actually go in and make things uh, a little smaller. Now it will mess up with some of the surrounding fillers as you can see here, um, but you actually have options to go in and do things. So for example, we go into the thread and we edit the thread. You can actually change the clarification uh, of that. So I just wanted to show this now. So I did this. Now this is in Mandar. What happens if you bring something in like SOLIDWORKS, for example? So I did that. This is a SOLIDWORKS file. Then it comes in just like it would um, with a STEP file or an IGES file. What means that it comes in without the feature tree, but it's still a body. What means that I can actually still go in here and right click on this thing and I can use like the, the move command and uh, I can actually move um, the, the different components here, uh, whatever whatever I want. So just be be aware of, of that. Just a little extra thing. I guess it doesn't really matter much. Now, um, if you ever are working with this, you're importing something in, you will see that we normally we, we have the features down here, right? If you're brand new to, 
to Fusion. So this is direct edit. Now you can always right click up here and say capture design history. And now, and I normally recommend that, but you will lose these different features here. So if I click, so I just right click on the top here, right click, capture design history. And now I have that history line down at the bottom, uh, but now everything is just inside one body. This has absolutely nothing to do with what's new. This is just me preparation and I came across this and thought, hey, maybe this is helpful. Maybe it's not. All right, let's get in and talk a little bit about what's new that I think you need to know about in, uh, in this May release. So what's new in this May release is that you can actually now work with projected geometry. And uh, what I mean by that is if I go in here right now and right click and say create a new sketch, if you hit P for project, you can project uh, the lines. And if you've done any of my videos, uh, you've seen me use this before. Let me just hit OK. What is new in here is you can actually go in. If you click on either, if you click on the line, you will now see you get this little project icon. And if you click on that, you can actually delete it by hitting delete on the keyboard. And now you will see that this, this arc just became undefined. It became blue. You can also click on points and you do the same thing. If I cl click on the point, that little icon will show up, hit delete on my keyboard, and I cannot delete that point. So what does that mean? Well, it means that, if I do it right, that things are now underdefined. What means that you can project geometry and now you can actually go in and you can actually uh, work with it uh, and, and change that. So I think that that was, was super uh, helpful that they put that in there. Now, another thing they did, what was in preview, so preview means if you go up to your name and you go into preferences, there you go. Down here we have something called preview and it's kind of like what's in beta in other uh, kind of software. Um, the way I look at this is that if you ever used any other kind of CAD software, they kind of like have this secret beta, you know, I don't know, like there's all different kinds of th things you got to sign to be able to see full disclosure on things. Um, inside of Fusion, you have this uh, preview section. You can check things that is not 100%, uh, you know, maybe proven or ready to be released, but you can get to it and play with it. Now, one thing that was in here until yesterday, thank goodness, was the fully uh, defined or coloring of fully defined sketches. What that means is that if you go in here and I create a new sketch, and let me just sketch something, you will see that it's blue. And if I sketch a circle, it's still blue. Now, what was in preview that is now out of preview is that if I start uh, putting some dimensions on uh, these things, you will see that it's going to change uh, color as it's being uh, fully defined, meaning you are removing uh, degrees of freedom for the file here. So let's go in here. You see now the box is has become black. Same thing if I put a dimension on this circle. Now it's still blue and the reason it's still blue is it can move around. But if I put the last couple of uh, dimensions on it here, you will see that now it will become black. What will give me the, uh, that will tell me that everything is, is locked down. Um, you probably maybe seen me talk about this before. I just got to make a point. So when I started using uh, 3D CAD, that was SOLIDWORKS back in the day, and I was a brand new user, I thought that this fully defined sketches was like the biggest pain in the neck. And I pretty quickly decided as a new user that, you know what, I don't have time for this. I need to make product. Uh, and I just stopped doing it. It was a $500 mistake for me. And I want to show you what I mean by that. So think about it like this. You have uh, a part model of an insert, and this is all, you see there's a history tree down here. It is all good. Well, 
what happens is that at some point somebody, and this in this case would have been Lars, goes in and edits a sketch. And you can see up here that this upper line here is still blue. What means I can literally take and I can drag this one up. And when I get out of this sketch, the whole shape have now changed of this part. Guys, for me, this meant that the insert I was trying to fit into a pocket on my CNC mill didn't fit in there. Of course, it's the day when the boss is out on the shop floor and he want to investigate. And 30 minutes later, Lars is sitting at his computer saying, I'll never do that again. So just make sure you do that. But the point is, it's out of preview. It's now part of the software. Definitely make sure you fully define those sketches. And the easiest way to work with it is that if something is still blue, grab a corner, hold down the left mouse button, and just start dragging it around, and you kind of like can get an idea about what it is. All right, I was promising that I was going to try to keep this somewhat uh, short. The third thing I want to show is um, I talked a little bit about this yesterday uh, in my live stream about how we have, let me get it over on the screen, how we have. Uh, the, the fusion on the web, you can click on, so I clicked on the top of the project here, your name, and that will open uh, this window up in the web browser. And one of the things I was talking about yesterday was that if you share files with a customer, they can actually view this in, in this online viewer, and they don't have to download anything. There's nothing for them to really get into. But what they can do in here is they can do uh, all kinds of, of measurements in here um, and markups. And that was one of the things that got an update. So if you go into mark, markups, they added all kinds of new different markups. You can change backgrounds, you can change uh, line thickness, you can change uh, the text in here. Uh, so if you didn't watch yesterday's um, uh, live stream and you're interested in this definitely go and check that out and actually I would love some of your feedback on this because I think it's something that I was never really good at using this with my customers and I'm just kind of like curious about how many of you guys are successfully utilizing this tool to kind of like send your customer a file and say hey take a look at this and they can do markups or maybe somebody else in the company huh I don't know all right the last thing I want to show you um, is back into Fusion. And if we go back into our file here, and now of course I screwed everything up. Stop the sketch. Let me just get rid of our sketches here. Let's go in and make a drawing. So I'm gonna go in and make a drawing from design. I gotta have to save it, that's fine. Uh, and I'm just gonna create whatever is the default here. Um, and of course I never get the right view. I probably want left view is fine. Okay, so here we have a view in here. Now, what I want to show you that I'm really happy they got in here is this uh, ads extension. So if you click on that up here, you can now uh, extend uh, edges out here um, for these virtual sharps. And of course, you can also now you can, of course, dimension uh, to them. Uh, so I think that that uh, was super, super helpful uh, that they got uh, that in there. They keep on adding some uh, some good, um, good drawing updates. Now, there was a bunch of updates to this release. I just wanted to quickly give you my favorite. So you can now actually modify a projected ads, which is pretty cool. Uh, now we finally have the fully defined sketches. Glad that got out of, of preview. We had had it in there, but now it's actually... Now you don't have to go into the preview sections and check all that. Um, if you've never been into the preview, go in and check out the cool things that is in there. Uh, the markup tools, and like I said, I'm really interested to see what you, um, what you, if you're using those. And then the last one was the drawing here. So uh, that was really all that I was planning on showing here. Now, if you are in the live stream, then go and check the first uh, entry there. That is my email address, lars.christensen at autodesk.com autodesk.com send me if there's anything you want me to do in these live streams if you're watching the recording uh, you will find it down in the description area and just shoot me uh, an email about something you want to see something I can do pretty quickly here on the live stream also I have another favor I really want to ask you 
and especially it's probably easiest if you're watching the recording i'm not going to ask anybody in the live stream to go through this hassle but after i'm finishing the live stream this will be a recording up on my youtube channel do me a favor if you like this if these live streams are worth something to you hit the thumbs up and and if they don't do me a favor you know if they suck hit the thumbs down i just kind of like want to get your feedback on if this is worth uh watching or not and of course if you're fairly interested in this and you like it, if you hit the subscribe button, you will get an email when these live streams are on. So I'm just going to jump into uh, the live stream quickly here and just see if we got any specific things. I got to make sure that I cover. Um, it doesn't look like this. JT would like to see to handle uh, bigger projects. And that actually, I just got an email from somebody asking me, or no, I think it was a LinkedIn message asking me about bigger project inside of, uh, of Fusion. And I think to answer you quickly, uh, we could definitely do something about that. That might not be a bad idea, how to handle bigger projects. Um, but I think the thing to keep in mind is, and I think this goes for any CAD system out there, that the more components you are, are creating in there, uh, the more it has to solve and therefore uh, you can get some performance issues and it really I th some some of it also starts coming into hardware but maybe that will be a good live stream to do something about some tips and tricks on to handle that so i'm definitely uh worth uh i'm definitely in for doing that all right guys i am going to uh to stop this uh right here um i am going to end the stream so if you are in the live chat and you want to hang around, I'll chat with you in there. If you are watching the recording, don't forget my email address is down there if you want uh, any topics. And also do me a favor, hit that up or down depending on how good this is. All right, until the next time, uh, we will be in June at that time. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much. See you in the chat stream.